Well, I think I was originally approached by the uh, researchers, I guess it must have been, um, a year before that they actually did it. And um, they had planned to do it in 74. And then, uh, for one reason or the other, Mike's stepmother, Pat, she was very seriously ill with cancer. And then in August, Mike had his big crash in Formula One at um, Nuremberg Ring, which put him out of car racing. And so, because of those reasons, one thing or the other, they decided to shelve it. And um, they said, oh, we'll, we'll pick it up next year. And I thought, mm, I wonder if they really will. You know, maybe they just forget all about it move on to some, someone else. But then, um, I, you know, I was really pleased the following year they did come back to me on it. After Mike's accident, he had times where he was really, really low, very, very depressed and, um, you know, his career had ended and he was, he just didn't know what he was going to do with himself and he was very depressed and upset at some, you know, sometimes. And I thought, shall I tell him about it? You know, it might just give him a little lift and make him think, oh, you know, oh, that was nice, or, you know, that would have been nice, and that sort of thing. Um, but I thought, no, I better keep quiet, just in case they do decide to come back. And I, I didn't want to spoil the surprise. It was quite tricky for a while, keeping it all secret under wraps, and I had to keep making sort of excuses, or I had to sort of, you know, pop into London for hairdo or something <laughs> or meeting so and so for lunch well Eamon did come to me beforehand and say I've heard that there's a possibility that he might swear <laughs> is that likely and I said well I can't promise you that he won't and in the end it was great I mean the way they caught it was fantastic really I mean he was trapped in that car you know, thinking he was doing another programme. And he was in that car and he couldn't do anything about it. Of the actual recording, oh gosh, it all sort of happened in such a sort of whirlwind, really. I mean, I remember uh, as soon as Mike had left the house in the morning, uh, the crew came to the house to film the children. So they filmed the, the children in the garden and then we all went up to the studios in, at Thames Television. And it was great because... We, um, a lot of the other guests were all meeting up there, so it was it was a good, you know, old pals meeting up in the in the green room sort of thing. Goodness knows where they hid Mike. And then because I was first on, and I just sort of really could sit back and enjoy the show. It, it was fantastic, really. Um, Chris came on, Mike's sister. You know, those two had been very close in their childhood. Um, you know, because Mike's mother left at an early age. Although the two of them went to different schools, they spend all their holidays quite close companions. So, um, you know, it was lovely for her to be a part of it. Dear Stan, <laughs> he used to spend his retirement half the year in Cannes and the other half in Barbados. And at the time of the recording, he was in Barbados, so they filmed him there. I, I'm sure Stan would have loved to have been there. It was a very close relationship with his father. You know, when I've watched it back over the years, the, the film, um, how intently Mike is listening to what Stan is saying. Unusual relationship, I think, with those two. Oh yes, Chris and the boys. Well, they were good friends of ours. And Mike loved his jazz, so it was great for him to have them there. It was the perfect way to finish it, you know, with, with the band. They, they, they were always, you know, there at our party, so it seemed right that they should be at that one. You know, he did feel very honoured, and there's one point where he says, you know, well, how many championships there? And he counts of how many championships there were. And there were a lot. So, uh, you know, I think he felt so honoured to be, you know, have his peers there recognising him. 
I think you did say to me something about, why, you know, you, how did you keep that secret? Why did you go on about it? And I said, I couldn't tell you. You know, I, I, did, I did say to him, there were so many times I wanted to tell you. Um, but I didn't, because I didn't want to spoil the surprise at the end. And I'm glad I didn't, because it was such a lovely surprise for him. Oh, he loved it. Well, he was a party animal anyway, you know, but I mean, just to have everyone there. He just felt so sort of humble that, you know, he'd been given this honour. It was just a lovely... Oh, it was brilliant. It was, it was, it was, it was a wonderful atmosphere. It, it was probably one of the best, you know, one of the best times we ever had. But I, I think um, of the programme itself. I mean, it's lovely to have such a lovely record of um, Mike and I together and, you know, all the friends. But for, for me especially, the thing I guess I love most about it is that it's the only film that I have of our daughter Michelle. She just looks so sweet in that little dress, and I still have that little dress. It was just lovely to have that of them all together. It, you know, it was the only, I think it is the only film that I have of us all together. I've got photographs of us all together, but it's, it's just nice to have that film. That's lovely. <laughs>